Hey guys! I'm Riggy Rob, and welcome back to World of Horror. So, last time we were able to do two complete full playthroughs and actually make it all the way to the end. Uh, so, in terms of our endings, we both, we got, well, we already had At Your Lats, and we already had Mouse Lit, so we got Survive Generic twice. Uh, and I've been wondering about what the best way to do with uh, streaming and let's playing this, because, as you can imagine, this game is not very YouTube friendly. Uh, it is a mature game meant for mature audiences, just looking at the illustration on the screen right now. But the main issue I have is that I can't control which mysteries and which endings as part of those mysteries I can go for. So I think what we will do is we will stream until we see an ending for each mystery, and then that will probably have to be the end of streaming or let's playing it. Because there is no way I will be able to get, what is this, five endings for this mystery in particular? Because I can't control when this mystery will show up, and, you know, the I might not even make it to this mystery, depending on if I lose all of my stamina and reason for doing the other mysteries. So, that's kind of how I see us playing through this uh, from now on. So I think we have about 13 mysteries left, so there's Morbid Mermaids, Moonlight Sailors, Woodless Ward, that's three, Crimson Cape, Peculiar Painting, Evolving Eels, that's six, Metamorphosis, Noisy Nails, Rancid Ramen, Frightening Flood, ten, then there's a blank one, which I don't know about, uh, Blood Curdling Botanist, and then Thaumaturgy Teacher. So I think that's 12 to 13, depending on how the game handles them. We have seen just over a third of the enemies, and we've seen just over a third of the events. Again, I can't control what events show up. And yeah, in terms of achievements, so we did, yes, complete a game with the second character and the third character. So we actually skipped the first one, and then fourth, fifth, and then I'm assuming there are actually more than five because you have to unlock them later, but there's not an achievement associated with them uh, that I can tell. So. Oh no, there is a sixth, and then seventh. Okay, so there's at least seven characters. Uh, so yeah, so let's go to a new story. And let's randomize our look. I think that's probably a bit too dark, yeah. Ooh, I like this one actually. It's white but with red coating. Is this a two-bit one or a one-bit one? Huh, interesting. It's a two-bit one, okay. Fair enough. Let's go with this one. Continue. I like the red. I like the red palette. Uh, maybe a full red palette was a bit too dark last time, but this looks nice. And then again, we've done extracurricular activity, which is the skeptic playthrough. Quick play is just a random playthrough, and then we can customize which one we want to go for, which is good for aiming for specific achievements. And then these options here are the quick play options, which I haven't changed at all. And I think it's probably fine. I'm sure there will be sort of, you know. Uh, her uh, horror devotees that are like, oh yeah, give me the hardest challenge, Harbinger of Doom. And then, again, I still don't know what changes in terms of timeline A and timeline B. But let's go ahead and customize the playthrough. So we've got the cards that are available to us. Again, it says World of Horror Full coming soon. So at some point, there might be an update. And uh, this password thing again, let's go to randomize one that I can kind of remember. Neilco. Yeah, I can do that. N-I-W-K-O. So that's Shiokawa, something strange happening. Alright, so we've done it with the second, which is Takahashi, and the third, which is Haru, which is the Akiza driver. So we haven't done it with any of the others yet. So let's try going for... Let's try Mimi. Med student, finally a way to put into practice everything she's learned so far. Plus knowledge, minus dexterity, starts with a scalpel. Okay, and then in terms of backstory, it's World of Horror, or Medical Mystery. I mean, she is a med student, so sure, why not? Medical History. Uh, and then in terms of difficulty, I think, again, probably stick with just the, the skeptic, threat level lowered, weaker enemies. I think that's probably good for the purposes of streaming and let's playing this. Uh, so, max stamina, max reason, five funds, weaker enemies. And again, of course, uh, this is classic mode. Five different mysteries need to be solved. 
scenario mode is coming in the future, but don't know when. And endless mode, I haven't tried endless mode, but it's just basically fighting all of the enemies. So you get to see all of the enemies and all of the illustrations of the enemies. But we'll do classic mode. Somewhere a group of people gathers trying to awaken their master. And last time we had Spider God where you can't run from combat. Uh, let's do Ithotu, the Devouring Fire. Uh, both your damage and your enemies is increased. So we do more damage in them. That's good. Okay, so the supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently rediscovered and is currently waiting in the Museum of Triple O for its long-awaited premiere. Okay, new status discharge summary, new item medical kit, new status Mimi's obsession, new item scalpel. So, scalpel. It's a sharp one-handed weapon based on knowledge, uh, 4 damage, 80 speed, 65 chance to hit. That would be a good thing to equip straight away. And then the medical kits. Gain two bandages. You can heal one major injury while keeping this item in the inventory. Army issued medical kit. Okay. So two, I can, two bandages. Oh, so I assume then that if I use the kit, I gain two bandages, which will heal minor injuries but the medical kit itself heals major inju injuries. Mimi's Obsession, minus 20% max reason. Okay. And then Discharge Summary, uh, discard plus 20 XP. Okay, why would I not just discard that straight away? To give me the, uh, I suppose it's actually better to discard it when uh, I'm close to leveling up. Okay. Uh, yeah, increased combat damage. Okay, so let's go ahead then. Wait, why is it not going off the screen? Uh, I, do I need to discard it now? Town status? Huh. Okay, I don't see a thing to get rid of this screen, so I guess I'll discard it straight away then. And yes, we've got 20 XP. And of course, we have the medical history. Start with extra XP and bandages, but an injury may occur when the player takes damage in combat. So that's what it means by the extra XP, is you get the discharge summary. Okay, mailbox is empty. All right, so let's go change clothes, get the funds, and then outfits. So we've got nurse, tank top, P culture, Good girl, so I think we'll stick with nurse. I like nurse. Okay, and then on the TV, uh, yeah, nothing interesting there. So I don't have any VHS cassettes, and I don't have a number to call yet. And it might change depending on each um, run playthrough. Okay, probably just my imagination. And there's nothing in storage. Uh, town screen, yes, you can't go to the town if you're not currently trying to solve a mystery. So, yeah, it's empty. Alright, start a new mystery. So, five mysteries. So, Thaumaturgy Teacher, Morbid Mermaids, Household Hell, Beckoning Bulletin. So, we've just got two out of potential five that are uh, unique. Okay. Oh, I can re-roll the mysteries. Oh. So I, I guess technically I can change which ones I go for. How many times can I re-roll the mysteries, though? Is it based on do? Let's give it a go. Morbid Mermaids. Beckoning Bulletin. Fear Festival. Blood Curdling Botanist. So you can actually pick which one to go for. Okay, I didn't know, I didn't know that. So Abnormal Arms. School Scissors. Rancid Ramen. Is it going to default to two I've already seen? Botanist Vigil Mermaids. Botanist Contagious Coma. Bulletin Eels. Violent Vigil. School Scissors. Rancid Ramen. Yeah, it seems to be showing off at least two that I've already done. Oh, I guess that's only three. Alright, see if I can get four. So, check the first one. Yep. Sailors, Vigil, oh, I already did Vigil. 
Bulletin, Crimson Cape, Contagious Coma, Sailors, Vigil. All right, if I find three mysteries I've not done, then uh, we'll carry on. Fear Festival, Eel Scissors, Mermaids, Festival, Footage, Scissors. Yeah, I've already done three of those. Come on. So, Mermaids, Bulletin, Hell, Footage, Cape, Hell, Mermaids, Sailors. All right, we'll do this one. So, uh, first one, let's go for... Well, let's go for the first one. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. What was originally harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game. That's only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Investigate the mystery. One of your friends says he doesn't believe in curses and he intends to complete the dangerous dare. The man in the red cape gather gossip about the current mystery. So, gossip about the current mystery would be going to the school? Yeah. And then going to the school yard. So, latest gossip. How are you doing your English exam? When Akamanto asks which paper do you want, you must refuse everything. She hasn't come to school last week. It's been so hard to get some sleep. Let's get you. I will help you, shouldn't be. Uh, will you come as well? Sounds strange, but I believe you. Will you come? Don't have time for games. Give me a break. Okay. Uh, could I force? Combined intimidation value 43.20. Student shoves you away and escapes, screaming for help. Okay, ask? No. Force. Ah, so your doom goes up, and it's less likely that you'll be able to get more students after. Okay, fair enough. Please. You've heard some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the map and offers you, though. Okay, so that's solved, then. Uh, do I want spells? No, I think I'm fine for now. But I do need to investigate the school. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with the half-finished sculptures and bizarre mask hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. So I think we checked out the sculpture last time, so let's check out the masks. One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in a cult book. You decide to take it with you. Karakusa mask. Faster spiritual actions. It's armor. Okay. Can you see in it? Weird design with many strings. Ah, and it even changes the portrait as well. You reported it to your principal, who promises he will take care of it. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library make mention of Akamanto. Go downtown. Police station, yeah, don't really have uh, experience, but items. So let's see, sewing kits, plus three stamina, minus one charisma. Camera. I do have quite high knowledge, but I can do this. And then equip it. So flash combat action adds a chance to dodge the incoming attack. I should also point out that... Oh, it takes the, um, the mask off. I see. Well, until I need to have spiritual actions, I'll keep the mask off. Um, but yes, you'll notice that the cursor is moving across the screen quite slowly. That is the game lagging a little bit. Alright, let's go shopping again. So, steak knife. It's dexterity based. And flashlight. Uh, I don't think I can equip the camera and the flashlight at the same time. But I can buy this backpack. So, the backpack does. Allows two additional inventory slots. See, this is probably why there's two slots here. But the game never actually told me that it's possible to buy a backpack to increase the inventory space. Like, I would have preferred it if this had been greyed out. But, yeah. Irreplaceable in travel. You could fit a lot in here. Should we go in one more time? 20% doom is quite high already. Well, shop for items. Compass. Plus 2 XP for each investigated location. That's probably quite handy. 
And I've got another camera, cigarettes, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's buy this. Equip the compass. Because I'm going to be investigating locations anyway, so I might as well max out my experience while I can. It will surely be useful. Okay. So, investigate downtown. So the experience doesn't kick in yet. Oh, it does. I got 4 XP for that. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of policemen lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Steal his gun. Check his wounds for clues. Escape before more people have arrived. I like this. 410 billion being a reference to the 400 billion, 410 billion dead cops. World is a, world is a fuck. Uh, check his wounds for clues, I think is best. They didn't tear out his throat, but instead carved an occult symbol or something sharp. You tried to remember the shape and escape before anyone arrives. 15 XP. You read a story about a vengeful samurai known for wearing a crimson red cape. It's an interesting find for sure, but you need to find more information. So, it's the same thing again. Investigate downtown. Oh no, travel to the school. Alright. You enter the kitchen. Even though it's abandoned and the lights are off, something is cooking in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Search for a weapon. Look for a first aid kit. See what's cooking. I mean, you've made reference to the smell. I think we should see what's cooking. Although it's probably going to increase doom. You slowly remove the lid from the pot. A thick, smoky, vile reek fills your lungs. Look at the ingredients used to make this broth make you sick. Minus three reason. Okay, so don't look in the pot. One of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information. Alright, go to the hospital. Do I want to enter it? No, it costs doom to enter, so... Try and minimise the doom accumulation now. You meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. So last time we asked, don't ruin the calm moment. Sometimes it's better not to know. You chat until your friend's break is over, plus one reason. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today and another body has supposedly been found. Investigate the school. Hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you are entered. Light the candles, pick up the book, store the writing on the blackboard. Hmm. I mean, the book and the blackboard writing both seem decent options. So... Hmm. Let's study the writing. You decipher the occult instructions and let the forbidden knowledge fill your brain. Minus two reason, minus two stamina, but gain a spell. Mind drain. So, an offensive spell, regain two reason, but costs minus one max reason. Okay, my reason's already pretty low anyway. The principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. So go home. Oh, downtown rather. gruesome altar. Seeing the two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Research occult notes, call the police, do nothing, or use second sight skill, which we don't have. Well, we're already quite heavy into occult and reason damage, so let's research the occult notes. Knowledge check failure. Reading the ramblings of a madman has made you sick, minus two reason. And my knowledge is quite high, so that's unfortunate. You break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there! To the school! Investigate! Hidden cults. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Plus curse. That's unfortunate. Panic. Minus 10% chance to succeed on any combat action that has a base chance to hit. Oh, well, thanks. 
There is no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door, the door behind you. Investigate the cursed toilet. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squeak. You hear the sound of rubber boots as an unknown liquid drips on the tiles. Squish, squeak. You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. Prepare yourself. Red cape. A masked man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Tell me, his voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? Well, we know that we shouldn't take any, so I don't want anything from you. It's getting darker. And hello, Wedgie! Just want to say hello. Life is still lifing for me. Glad to see you too. Please say hello to Pimsy for me too. I will do, Wedgie. Thanks, you. Thanks for checking in. I hope everything is good with you. Life is still lifing, but I hope things are going well. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes their mask off as stall walls wither and rot and reality starts to crumble. Akamanto True Form. So, 32 HP, minus 2 all damage and 30 power. Chance to hit is lowered by 20%. But I take a photo with a flash, disorienting the enemy. Okay, so kick does 3 damage. Scalpel does 5, but the base chance to hit is 35. That's awful. And then Scalpel can do 7 damage. That would be good, if it wasn't for the fact that it's so low to hit. Alright, so I can prepare, and then do 7. Uh, I can also do Order Allies. 40% chance to hit for them. That's terrible. Uh, let's see what else. Camera Flash. Use your camera's flash to temporarily blind the enemy. Minus 10 power. Now, is that temporarily for the rest of the combat? Or is it temporarily for the rest of the turn? I suppose we'll try it. Uh, and then we'll also assess the situation. Ask ally to distract. If successful, faster combat action for the duration of the counter. Uh, yeah, sure. And then combat skill, yep. Yeah. And then what else? Dodge, brace for impact, meditate. Yeah, I can't run. And then the spiritual actions. All right, let's try this. Okay. Nice. Student B has managed to distract Akamanto and I dodged the attack. Also, the power is down to 20. He's eldritch, weak against magic, can't run from this encounter. The ageless horror, awakening once again to sate his hunger. Well, it's weak against magic, so this should do what? 10 damage? So let's see, it's at 32 HP. Let's see how much it does. It does. 5 damage, so it's not weak against magic spells, it's weak against magic attacks, probably? Okay. Uh, and then we can, yes. Guarantee hit, can I guarantee hit twice? I can guarantee hit two times, that does 12 damage. Yeah, I think that's okay. So let's try that. So minus seven, minus five. A commando attacks you. Okay, and then we'll do Mind Drain once again, to reason. Regain that. And then prepare. Uh, I think it's just two attacks, right? Yeah. Prepare, attack, prepare, attack. And then... There. That's it. So, let's kill him. Resolve combat. When you wake up, you find yourself back in the toilet stall. Thinking it was all a dream, you stand up only to hear a crack from under your shoe. There lies a broken crimson mask. Akamanto might return one day, but now you know that ancient horrors can be defeated. Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape, ending A. So the rewards, plus 30 XP, plus 15 XP for doing it thoroughly. There's still hope, so doing minus 5. And we've got Stamina and Reason back. And time has passed by one day.